Welcome to my channel friends. So today we'll be discussing the part two of logistics management tutorial. So we'll be discussing the five pieces of logistics management, seven hours of logistics management, scope and importance of logistics management, cross-functional coordination, and benefits of firms having good logistics management. Okay, so let's start off with the five pieces of logistics management. So which are the five pieces of logistics management? So first is a production, second is a price, third is product, fourth is promotion, and last it is a place. So let's try to understand one by one. So what do you mean production? So producing the right product as per the customer demand is a major goal of any organization. So also production should be done with the maximum efficiency of both the facility and people. Okay, so the primary importance of any company is to produce a product which has ultimate demand from the market. And secondly, also while producing, the companies has to bear in mind that it has to meet the efficiency of both facility and people. So that is the first point which is discussed. That is the first P in logistics management is product production. Okay. Second one is price. So price refers to the pricing strategy for products and services and how it will affect customers. Pricing decisions do not include just selling price, but also discounts, payment arrangements, credit terms, or any other price matching services offered. So it is not only the selling price that is involved in here. There are other factors also like discounts, payment arrangements, credit terms, everything has to be, has to be taken care by the company. So that is the second P in logistics management, which is the price. Okay. Now uh, the third point is the product. So the product refers to the products and services offered by business. Product decisions include function, packaging, appearance, warranty, quality, etc. The right product can be produced by using best collaboration between marketing and logistics. Okay, so what is the range of products that the company is having? So product decisions also include functions like packaging, appearance, warranty, quality, etc. So all the factors regarding a product has to be taken care under this thing. Okay, next is a promotion. So what do you mean promotion? Promotion refers to the activities that make the business more more known to the customers. It includes items such as sponsorship, advertising and public relation activities. So all the activities which a company does to promote its product, it's called as promotion. So maybe we can tell the sales promotion tools that the company use in order to promote the product. So a company may be using a traditional promotion tools or maybe digital marketing promotional tools. It, it completely depends on the company that which promotional tools that they are going to use. Okay. The fifth P is the place. It refers to where the product service of the business is seen, made, sold or distributed. In essence, place decisions are associated with distribution channels and ways of getting the product to target customers. So the final P in the logistics management is a place like where I'm going to sell my product. So I, I, the companies need to make sure that they are selling the product or they are making the product available where there are a lot of customers. So that is the final point we can discuss is a place. Okay. Now we'll see what are the seven R's in logistics management. So first is the right product, right place, right price, right customer, right condition, right time and right quantity. So these are the seven R's that is coming under the logistics management. So now we will try to understand one by one. Okay. So first is the right product. A company who offers this must first know the kind of product that the company is handling and the transport. Having the right knowledge will give you the advantage to properly and efficiently manage both the time and resources. The company should exa exactly know like what are, what are my range of products and where I am going to position my product in the market. How I am going to promote this market. So the right knowledge about the range of products is really important. So that is the first P which is called as right product. Second is right place. The right product must be delivered, delivered to the right place. Courier services provided by a company must have knowledgeable drivers as well as systematic delivery system and tracking. So both customer and the provider must have a synchronized location tracking to ensure that the products are delivered to the right place. So whenever a consignment is being sent to the customer, it is really important that the company should have the exact location details. Okay. And the customer should also have a system to track the delivery. So that has been discussed here as the right place. The second R is the right place. Okay. So next is the right price. So pricing is very essential and uh, they must have an appropriate uh, way to track the company income and expenses. 
a good system for storing and updating the right prices ensuring ensure a success of a company so whenever uh, a pricing uh, pricing pricing is uh, been discussed it's really important that company should price its product as per the market standards the pricing should neither be too high or neither be too low it has to be fixed as per the company's norms and procedures okay next is the right customer so every provider must know their target market to identify the right customers if they will offer their services to the right market they have more chances of gaining leads and customers that will most likely to avail them some uses the traditional marketing while other uses digital marketing to reach more customers around the globe so as i told you earlier identifying the right customer is really important like i i am having a range of products but if i don't know where to position my product or where to sell my product then that becomes a problem so maybe the company may be using a traditional marketing method or a digital marketing method to promote their product so while doing the marketing it's really important that they position their ma- uh, product uh, in an accurate way so that it reaches the target customer so that they have more sales so that is the fourth point which, which is discussed here is the right customer okay next fifth point is the right condition so it's really important uh, for every company to deliver the goods in the right condition uh, because the quality factor is really important uh, in this scenario so uh, the company should ensure that like uh, when a customer makes an order and uh, when the order is delivered so uh, the company should make sure that the quality is maintained the cu- the product is being delivered to the customer in the right condition so that is the fifth point which is being discussed here is the right condition and sixth point it is the right time time is very important when it comes to logistics clients are more concerned on the time of delivery that is why every service provider must know the right time to deliver the product and in a very efficient way every system has a tracking functionality to monitor all deliveries and making sure that they arrive on time so sixth point is right time so uh, time is a very important factor it not only applies to a logistics company or any company because the competition is really high in this market right now the companies are competing within each other to gain brand value or to gain the brand trust for example uh, if you can take the example of uh, the food delivering companies like swiggy uber eats and all like uh, these companies have a very strong policy in delivery like uh, once you make an order uh, they have a specific time limit in which they should deliver the order so if the order is not being delivered on time then uh, like they have other customer service policies to look into it and each and every company like uh, maybe uber eats swiggy all these companies are competing with within each other so that uh, they have an upper hand in the market so uh, uh, timely delivery is a very important and vital fact in the logistics management okay and the seventh r and the last r is the right quantity so knowing and specifying the right quantity is also one of the key in successful company since most of the providers are third party companies that relies on their services must be careful in sending the right amount or quantity of goods to be delivered thanks to our modern technological developments that 3pls can now manage all quantities of goods to ship and deliver okay so here uh, it's mentioning about the quantity of the goods to be delivered so once a company receives a order from the customer it is uh, the company should ensure that they are uh, delivering the quantities in the accurate uh, data because the quantity should not be neither be uh, like more or less it has to be accurate so uh, with the help of technological system companies are now able to deliver the right uh, quantity to the customers and also here they are uh, they are also explaining with the help of 3pl companies like third party logistics companies uh, uh, that we'll be discussing about third party logistics companies and fourth party logistics companies which is also called as logis- logistics outsourcing in the coming classes so with the emergence of third party logistics company like uh, it, it has become easier for the companies to maybe uh, they can assign may, uh, any one of their logistics activity to a third party company so that they will manage the complete activity without much hassle so that's been dis- discussed here okay so now we'll be discussing about scope and importance of logistics so how the production marketing and accounts departments are linked and uh, there is another concept called as cross functional coordination which also pl- plays a very important role in this and logistics management decisions have a cumulative effect on profitability of a firm 
So here we'll be discussing about cross-functional coordination. What do you mean by cross-functional coordination? So cross-functional coordination is nothing but like when different departments of a company, say marketing department, say accounts department, uh, say sales department, accounts department. So when all these departments work hand in hand or work very cordially within each other for the smooth functioning of the company, they can definitely increase the efficiency of the company. So that is mean by cross-functional coordination. So, uh, and logistics management decisions have a cumulative effect on profitability of the firm. So, when it comes to logistics management decision, it have a cumulative effect on the profitability of the firm. So, all the decisions on a, of a logistics management company, where like all the strategic decisions regarding any activity of a logistics management that have a definitely impact on the profitability of the company. For example, I, have, I am deciding to give one of my activity for a third party logistics company. For example, warehousing. So when I give this activity to a third party logistic company, like they will be handling the complete warehousing for me. And in turn, what uh, I can gain is like uh, the, the third party company will be managing that activity in a very efficient way. And thereby the, uh, the efficiency is increased and in turn, my profit is also increased. So that is an example. Okay. So now let's try to understand what are the benefits of firms having a very good logistics management. So the first point is capability to identify possible breakdowns and take corrective action. Okay. So what do you understand by that? Capability to identify possible breakdown and take corrective action. So if you have an efficient logistics management system, like uh, there are the, the, your company can definitely identify a possible breakdown. Like uh, if my all my systems are inaccurate, and uh, like I, I can each and every procedure is laid down in, in an apt manner, then I'll be able to identify a possible breakdown. So before a problem is happening, I'll be able to rectify it. So that is the first point being discussed here. Okay. Second is performance above industry average in terms of inventory availability, as well as speed and consistency of delivery to customer. So three points being discussed here. First is inventory availability and speed and consistency of delivery. So if you have an efficient logistics management system, like uh, definitely you will have a better inventory availability. You will have a very good inventory management that I can tell uh, because um, when you have a, a sufficient amount of inventory, then your production process will not be stopped. And definitely it is an added advantage for a efficiency of the company. And as well as the speed and consistency of, del consistency of the delivery to the customer is also maintained. So when you have an efficient logistics management system, the companies tend to maintain a very good speed in delivery as well as consistency in delivery. Consistency in delivery is nothing but delivery, uh, making deliveries in a consistent mode. So not only making the first couple of deliveries on time and after that uh, you're not making it, it's not like that. Like consistently you need to uh, make the delivery on time. So that is mean by consistency of delivery. Okay. Third point is capability to monitor logistics performance on a real-time basis through efficient information system. That is another very important benefit of a firm having a very good logistics management system. That is use of efficient information system. For example, uh, in warehouses, like we were using traditional methods in warehouses, but now warehouse management systems are being launched into the market by different companies like say Oracle. Like a lot of companies have uh, coming into the market with a lot of warehouse management system softwares. So with the help of these softwares, you'll be able to manage your warehouses in a much better and efficient way. So that's been discussed here, like more, uh, a firm having a very good logistics management definitely will be an advanced one and they will be having excellent information technology services so, so, so that they can manage your, their logistics business in an efficient way. Okay. Fourth is high delivery performance and commitment to continuous improvement okay so high delivery performance we already discussed like how a company can increase the delivery performance by using different advanced technology methods they can increase their performance and commitment to continuous improvement and another uh, benefit a, a, a firm having a good logistics management is that they will be having a commitment to continuous improvement for example, uh, my company have started up the operations and I haven't started using any advanced technological tools. Then uh, like I will be uh, after two or three years of completion, I'll be looking forward to improve my technology to the next level. Okay. For example, you can take the quality standards. Like every company will have to upgrade their quality standards, maybe a couple of years. So that is a, uh, that is mean by commitment to continuous improvement. Okay. 
so hope you like the video so if you like the video please uh, hit the like button and please also subscribe to my channel thank you so much for your time